Hey guys, Zuzana here from Active Vegetarian and this is just a quick video, something I find really important and I think it will be quite helpful to you. Today I want to talk to you about organic versus non-organic produce. Every year the Environmental Working Group comes up with a list called Dirty Dozen and Clean 15 and it gives us a better idea where we should be spending our money, what produce do we buy organic versus where we can save a little bit of money and buy conventional uh, fruits and veggies. So it changes every year and uh, this year number one for Dirty Dozen, so that's the one where we should be spending a little bit of money, is strawberries. So strawberries is number one with the most chemicals and the most uh, pesticides. And I know the strawberry season is just coming out, so a lot of you will be buying strawberries. So try to avoid them if they are not organic because you're not really doing yourself any favor, especially if you're feeding your children you know, those pesticides that will definitely collect in your body and they might not cause harm right away, but later on in life, they can definitely cause some serious um, serious problems, health issues. So number one is uh, strawberries. Number two is apples. This is a, an organic apple. So whenever you can buy apple organic, please go for it. It's much smaller than the normal conventional apple, but you're definitely doing yourself a favor. I remember my dad used to joke that he was allergic uh, to apples because every time he would eat an apple he would break into a huge rash and I suggested to him to start actually peeling his apples and try if that would help and it definitely helped so that makes me believe that it was actually the pesticides on top of the apple on the skin that was causing the rash it was not that he was allergic to apples but he was trying to avoid them <laughs> as much as he could anyway so strawberries apples nectarines peaches peaches I have a little bit of a cheat sheet here because I don't really remember them all yet. Celery, so if you're doing any juicing, buy organic celery, grapes, cherries, pretty much anything you can think of that has a really thin skin, it will probably be um, best to buy organic. Not always, but it's a good rule of thumb. Spinach or really any leafy green vegetables like kale or collard greens would be great to buy organic. Tomatoes, sweet bell peppers, cherry tomatoes and cucumbers. So that's your dirty dozen. Now let's move on to the clean 15. Clean 15 means that you can spend uh, less money on and buy conventional and the number one that makes me really happy is avocados. So avocados are not uh, heavily sprayed and we do not have to buy them organic. Look at this beautiful avocado I just got. Oh, can't wait. Uh, sweet corn is another one. Pineapple, cabbage, frozen peas, onion, asparagus. The other day I was in a store and they had asparagus on sale and it was not organic. And I was not 100% sure, should I buy it or shouldn't I buy it? So yes, you can. Organic uh, asparagus is not, um, it's usually much more expensive, but you do not need organic one. Mangoes, papaya, kiwi, eggplant, honeydew melon, grapefruit, cantaloupe, and cauliflower. So that's all your clean 15. I know it's a lot to remember. So what Nikki did for us, she created a beautiful cheat sheet uh, and you can stop by activevegetarian.com. You can download it, you can put it on your fridge and that way you can remember next time you go shopping. Also the environmental working group is doing an excellent job and they not only come up with the clean 15 and the dirty dozen, they give us the most common 50 fruits and vegetables and give us a list um, on how heavily sprayed they are. So stop by activevegetarian.com, check it out, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.